All right, Juski, <laughs> let's see who's pulling up next. Tone Capone out of the shot town. What up, Tone? What's uh -oh. up? What's up? What's up, shot town? What's up, Jay Hub? Huh? What's up? What's up? How you feeling? How you feeling, man? How you feeling? I feel good. You know, I'm 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 happy to be here. I'm, I'm a wide awake, ready to roll, have it goes, you know. But the, for the most part, the the hardest part of the work is done. So it's uh, it's all about the celebration of it now, you know. Absolutely. I I gotta ask you. Playing a black superhero, Aretha Franklin is is that? I know how much you love you you a music lover and a music historian, so you know what she meant. Uh, what was that yes. one thing that you learned when you was playing it that you took away from that that part? Did you like? Oh my god, you know that's the thing. It's like not just one thing. Like my head is swimming just listening. Like man, what was it? Um, I think just having your own voice and knowing that that's where the power lies, and to see a story of a, like Aretha Franklin and to know like. She even had her own triumphs and struggles and had to find her way to her voice, which made me want to own my voice that much more, you know, because that's where her artistry rested and lied in, in her voice and not all those voices around her telling who her telling her who she needed to be, what she needed to do. But it wasn't until she owned her own power that she found her voice. And so that's it's the same for me, even more so now after coming off of playing her. Yeah, and and you just you always represent such a positive energy and the things that you do in the city. Uh, I, I know you got some stuff happening in Chicago. What, what's your foundation doing lately? What are we doing? Well, you know, since the pandemic, we we had to reroute like everyone else. So this past uh, Hatch Day, we do the Hatch Day, we do the toy drive. We decided to. My sister wasn't gonna have it any other way. She like we rounded up some vans. And we just gonna hit every block. My brother would say, I gotta hit the block. So we would hit every block, gave out the foundation goods that way. This year, it looks like we're gonna be open. So expect that. Although, Hatch Day is August 14th, which is the day after the film comes out. So we're gonna okay, well, we we'll be all over the place, but we gotta make it happen. Yeah, it's crazy, we gotta right? Do we, um, gotta we gotta put some people in them theaters. Yes, we wanna do that. You know, just continue to support and celebrate our city. I mean, because life still goes on. So we still got to make sure our people are good. And my mama said, you know, you got to take care of home. So Chicago is home. And so we make a point to do our our job for our people. Sure. And we're going to do our yep. job. We're going to get out and support that film and make it number one. Uh, super proud of you. We love what you're doing. You. You, you, show, you show the city that, you know, you can't do anything. This is the thing. This all started from a contest. You won a contest. You, you was a part of American Idol. This all I didn't even started. win the contest. <laughs> you didn't even, even win, win the contest. <laughs> didn't even win. And look at where you at. And it, that shows you can do anything. And I know people in the city look to you as a light. So salute to you, sis. Keep going. Thank you. <laughs>